this was the first sweater that I actually completed. It's not the first sweater that I started though. The first sweater that I started was the Flax Pullover by Tin Can Knits. That is a free pattern that I feel like basically everyone uses as their first pattern, but it did not fit me very well whatsoever. I started it with not enough yarn, so I was trying to use stripes to make it work. Didn't like how the stripe placement worked out. The whole thing was just like a no for me. I also found the neckline really tight, which is something that I see a lot of people talk about with that particular pattern. And I think it's just like a matter of taste. I really don't like when sweaters are like right up on my throat. I prefer a little bit more breathing room and this sweater does that really nicely. So the Autumn League pullover is available for free on the Two of Wands blog, or you can get a paid version that doesn't have any ads. It is knit with DK weight yarn and it is done on size six and seven needles. This pattern actually starts by knitting flat and instead of doing like connecting into the round and then doing short rows back and forth to add length, it's knit flat and then you connect it into the round and that's how you get the neckline a little bit higher at the back than it is at the front. Basically this sweater has like all of the hard work done up front. You have the knitting flat and then connecting into the round and then you have this neckline detail and you have like the raglan increases. All of that is in the first half so then when you get to the sleeves, you're like just flying through. Now, I don't know about you, but I do not like knitting flat. It's just like so tedious for me. I'm already a pretty slow knitter, so knitting flat versus in the round just like makes everything take twice as long. This pattern's actually written to be almost completely knit flat and then seamed up at the end because the seams add like stability to the sweater so it doesn't stretch out as much. But I did what a lot of people recommended on Ravelry, which was to knit it in the round but on the sides where there would be a seam to add an extra stitch and to purl that stitch as you're going around the body and the arms. And by doing this, you're able to just kind of sail through the body of the sweater. My tension for knitting and purling is completely different. So you avoid that striping that can kind of happen where the rows aren't quite the same width. And basically you're just able to knit it a whole lot faster. And then when you're done with the sweater, you can seam up that purled row and it just gives you a fake seam. Well, it's not really a fake seam though. It's like a real seam and it holds the tension of the sweater just like actually seaming a flat piece would do. Now I know that that is not written in the actual pattern itself, but I saw so many people did it successfully and it just seemed like a really like smart addition. So I went ahead and did that and I think it worked really, really well for me. One of the other things that I changed about this sweater is instead of like the classic knit one, purl one ribbing, I went ahead and did twisted rib just because I thought that it looked nicer and a little bit more sporty to go with like the sporty vibe of this sweater. This sweater has easily gotten the most wear for me and that is completely down to the yarn choice. So I live in Louisiana, it is hot basically all year long. Our winters are fairly mild. So big heavy wooly sweaters is not gonna ever get worn. I knit this sweater in Taki Yarns Cotton Classic Light which is a little bit of a lighter yarn weight than I think is called for in the pattern, but it really worked out well for me. I think it has really nice drape. I usually wear it with the sleeves rolled up a little bit and I've actually been thinking about just going ahead and ripping it back and making it have shorter sleeves, but that's a bit of a commitment that I'm not ready to do yet. However, it has become like a little bit of a wardrobe staple for me. So as I'm filming this, we are like well into May. Usually it would be in like the 80s or even the 90s by now, but today is a shockingly cold day. It's like 60 degrees, so I've got this baby on. This is one of those sweaters that does have a little bit of a deep arm side, but it is not the world's deepest arm side. It's not like so deep that you're like lifting up the bottom of your shirt if you move your arms. That is a big pet peeve of mine. I really like the like sporty detail to this sweater, like the cross in the front, I think looks really, really nice. But overall, I think it was a really, really great knit and it is definitely something that I wear a lot. But that's all I have for you in this video and I will see you soon.